Yo guys, what's up? It's been a been a long fucking time since I made a video. I've been really fucking busy. Uh, sorry, but but I'll try to uh, I'll try to make it up to you guys by making a couple of videos in the future. So I got a request to make a, a video featuring a game by uh, Nez Metdinov by Diamond Geezer Dude. And thank you very much, sir, because I looked through a couple of his games and they're all fucking incredible. So I chose one. That was played in 1958, where he was black against Paul Gajewski. And this game really shocked me how, how, how amazing it was. So let's, let's go right to it. So they start off with a pretty normal opening, the old Indian. And then just regular development type stuff. Nothing too crazy yet. The game starts off a little bit slow. This this move shocks me, but I don't know the theory anyway. I don't know if that's normal or abnormal. So here, queen there surprises me a bit too, but apparently it's perfectly fine. Like it's it's objectively a good move. So here, um, and uh, white now makes a mistake, a small mistake, not not a very serious one. Uh, castles. It would have been better to just move the bishop back. Uh, castling is weak because um, you're moving right into black's attack, right into the area where black's penis is most powerful. So you gotta, you're gotta, gonna get some problems. So black starts pushing, you know, pushing closer and closer and closer to cornering the white king. Uh, right back, you push, and just slamming right in there, shoving those pawns right in white's anus. So uh, g3, yep. Uh, just as a note, back here, if white had played this, he would get into some serious problems because push and threatening checkmate right here. That's game over. Boom. Uh, and here and white, black should have a mating attack. White is in huge trouble here. So we go back. Uh, g3, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then push. So now, uh, now Black plays a clever move where he brings his bishop out. And the idea is, if White plays the sort of obvious but fucking stupid move he takes here, he takes. Now uh, Black comes in there and uh, White's butt ripped. So we go back. Bishop here. Rook there. Defending this threat down here, which is sort of looming on white black's consciousness the entire game. So, uh, well, one possibility here is, is to play bishop takes in there, there, here, but you get the exact same problem. So, what, what white is in some trouble here. His king is going to be attacked, and he's got to get out of that area. Uh, if he stays there for too long, he's going to get he's going to get fucked. He's going to get a motherfucking knight sitting on right motherfucking f3. That's not a nice square for a motherfucking knight if you're motherfucking white. So white starts running. Boom, run. Let's get the hell out of there. So uh, plays here, here. Plays a kind of funky looking move, knight out there. Now white plays here. And now black plays an incredible move. It, uh, it shocks me how good this move is. Um, I'm I'm really surprised that this move just completely ass rapes White's position, but it does. Plays Rook there. Now uh, White has two options in the game. He plays uh, Rook takes H2 and takes the Queen, but he could have uh, taken the Rook, and the win is much simpler if he takes the Rook. But let's go over it anyway. So let's say he takes the rook with the pawn, then takes this, it takes, takes that, and now the only way, the only move that white has is queen takes c2, so that basically just loses the game. He, he sacks his queen and, and is lost. So, so yeah, that's why back here he needs to take the queen. Now, um, this position. At the moment, it isn't really that clear how blacks can complete the checkmate because there are no forcing variations that just finish it off. 
like in most, most situations where you sacrifice a queen. So it, it's actually quite a daring move to, to sacrifice a queen for um, uh, more long-term theoretical ideas rather than some just fucking, yeah, we're just going to keep on fucking moving and moving and fucking and fucking and fucking and then you'll get to the checkmate. But here you can't just do that. You can't just see some direct fucking line. You're just, you're, you're, that there's some bullshit in between. And you have to estimate that bullshit using your bullshit detector. And obviously, uh, Black's bullshit detector is through the roof in this game. So we play there, that, and that. And now, Black has a huge fucking threat. He's got a threat that's just gonna ass fuck White, if White isn't careful. So let's say White just plays a regular looking move. He develops his queen. Let's say he develops his queen. Alright. Now, now Black plays sort of fucked up looking. Let's move our fucking pawn out. What the hell is that gonna do? Ooh, fancy knight. Boom. It's checkmate right there. Double check. Check and check. Good. All these squares are covered. White is just fucked. So, White needs to be very careful to defend against b5. So that's why that's what White played. White played his pawn out. Good move. But not good enough, unfortunately. C5 takes, takes. Now, Black's threatening checkmate again. He's starting to push his pawn. Boom, motherfucking checkmate. White screwed. So the only the only way to defend against that is to play bishop there. So now, if he pushes that pawn, then White would hide his king in this little butt crack right there. So, move that. And uh, king there. And now there's a forced checkmate. Push, takes, takes, there, there, move over there, and uh, White's freaking out right now because his king is stuck in the center, he's kind of cut off, and there's checkmate in two. Do you see it? Right there, king over, and there's three ways to checkmate. One, fucking rook there. Two, fucking knight there. Three, knight, checkmate, motherfucking game over. Now, uh, let's just recap on what happened in that game. Well, what happened at the end? White, black, black sacrificed his queen for very, uh, a sort of theoretical long-term advantage. Uh, a positional type thing. There's no, there's no clear sacrificial way of, of taking advantage of the, the gains that you got from that sacrifice. So here, 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 just, white just gets ass right, miserably, push into the corner, and game over, motherfucking game over, motherfucking done. Alright, uh, uh, I'll see you guys later in a new video, uh, peace.